Hello, fellow graduates. Thanks for the kind introduction, Mr. Stewart. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Daniel Torres. I majored in computer drafting and design, and I'm graduating today with my bachelor's degree in construction management. <clears throat> I also want to thank all the family and friends who could be here to support their represented our respective graduates, as well as their faculty and staff of ITT Technical for being here with us today. I would also like to give a special thanks to my beautiful fiance, Mary Gillis, who is also graduating tonight. And welcome to my mother, Mirabel Torres, which is also here. Um, without, without them, I wouldn't be the person I am today. So thank you both. I would like to share a quote with you. It's one, one of my favorite quotes of all time. It's by a man you may have heard of. It's Thomas Edison. He said that when working on a light bulb, he hadn't failed 10,000 times. He just found 10,000 ways uh, that didn't work. And the one quote I've always found is the difference between a winning attitude and a quitting attitude. If you can't learn from your failures and even find them positive in some ways, you will always be way ahead of the curve. Here at ITT Tech, we've just spent two, two or more years working hard to obtain, to obtain our degree. We spent hours studying for class, hours writing papers, hours listening to lectures, and hopefully not too many hours in the bar. Um, it's been a long and wild, wild ride, but we are here two, two years or more later with something to show for it all. An education, a degree, after today, no one can ever say that we're among the uneducated of the world. And that accomplishment is not, well, is not about bragging rights, but it's also about responsibility. What does the future have in store for us? As uh, our guest speaker said, if we knew that, uh, it wouldn't be any fun. But we can only hope for the world, uh, the hard work we've been put through during our college years, and the relationship we have formed have helped shape us as a capable adult, people who are ready to face the challenges ahead and healthy attitude. The rest of our lives uh, will be adults who have been given every opportunity to succeed. It is now time to capitalize and on the opportunity. With all this over, <clears throat> over, with all this talk of overcoming failures, let me leave you with one more luminous note: the idea of challenges, the, of the idea of challenges and obstacles that doesn't have to be a um, depressing one. We can either take our failures and use them as an autobiography or we can be like Thomas Edison and say good, uh, say good. That is more one, that is more way, one more way how to do it, how not to do it. How, how does that attitude work? You may notice that this room isn't lit by kerosene lamps. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2012. Ha, ha, ha.